origin, the tangent is the same as the slope. Does this line have a positive or negative slope? Negative. negative. So tangent is going to be negative in quadrants 4 and 2, where a line through the origin has a negative slope. Tangent will be positive in 1 and 3, where a line through the origin would have a positive slope. I hope that helps you remember all this and doesn't further confuse you. Uh, cosecant of 7 pi over 4. I'm giving it to you in order, not trying to trick you. It's the reciprocal of two over root two. It's a trap. sine. It's not a trap. Um, 2 over root 2, but this was negative sol, so what about it's reciprocal? Two over root two. Negative 2 over root 2. If I wanted to rationalize this denominator, I would multiply top and bottom by square root of 2, and I would get 2 root 2 over 2. Can that be simplified further? You can cross out the 2s. I forgot my negative signs for a moment. I apologize. So this would be negative square root of 2. Se uh, secant of 7 pi over 4. It's going to be positive root 2, because this was positive, yep. And cotangent, what is the reciprocal of negative 1? Negative one, Saul's on a roll. Okay, so that's how you find these angles. Um, you can now talk about any angle at all, because if you go negative, you go uh, clockwise instead of counterclockwise. If you go greater than 360, well, you just keep looping around until you figure out the reference angle. Please remember the reference angle is always to the x-axis. Okay? Um, this is probably... This and one other thing. There's probably only two more hard things I'll ask you to do without a calculator. I'd say this is one of them before the final. There's one more coming up that I'll ask you to do without a calculator. Why? Because <laughs> I'm evil, of course. So that was the, always the correct answer. Oh, are we done? Uh, let me think. I want to do one more example because I ha what quadrant have I not done an example on yet? Third. Third, did an example in quadrant two, example in quadrant four. I'm not going to do an example in quadrant one because I think you guys can handle from zero to 90. Negative both. Negative both. So we're going to do an example there. It's got to have one of these reference angles. Um, oh, and I know one. We haven't even used that reference angle yet. Pardon? Negative times are divided by a negative is a positive. Everything you're saying will be true about the tangent and cotangent. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But check out the sine and cosine real quick. Um, we're going to do... Uh, exactly, perfect, because it's a reference angle we haven't used yet. Um, am I getting predictable in my old age, James? Um, James has predicted um, that with, uh, 210 degrees is the angle I'm going to pick to do this for. What is that in radians? So I'll step out of the room. Somebody else has to figure this out. 210 degrees is what? What's 210 divided by, divisible by? Okay, but of the 30, 45, and 60 we've been talking about. Seven, which is good. Seven times 30 degrees. Nah, 60 would be 240. Um, it's seven times 30 degrees. So I'm going to choose to write seven times 30 degrees as seven pi over six. You guys got to get good at this. Um, okay, I'll draw it over here, I'll, I'll go 90, then I'll go to 180, and then I will go 30 degrees farther than 180 to get me to 210 degrees. Um, what reference angle have I just created? 30 degrees. Okay, I always draw the reference angle back to the x-axis, so I've created a reference angle of 30 degrees, by doing a, what's called a standard angle to 210 degrees. Do you ever write the reference angle of pi over 6? Yeah, sometimes. I'm going to mix and match totally. Um, you got to know both. Um, now, I'm in quadrant 3. This adjacent is along the x-axis. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative x. Y is going down from there. So that's a negative y. Okay, I use 30 degrees as my reference angle. What would the sine of 30 degrees be? What would the sine of 30 degrees be? One half. One half. 
But we're down here in quadrant three where the opposite side is negative one half. So it's going to be negative one half. The cosine of seven pi over six, what would the cosine of 30 degrees be? Why well, are skipping a little ahead of my question? I, the cosine of 30 degrees would be positive root 3 over 2, but Amy's correct. Down here in quadrant 3, it's going to be negative root 3 over 2. Tangent is sine divided by cosine. What's a negative divided by a negative? Positive. positive. What's the slope of this line? Also positive. Stay with me. What's, uh, yeah, positive root 3 over 3. And the reciprocals... The cosecant of I'm going to write it out, 7 pi over 6 will be negative 2. The secant of 7 pi over 6 will be negative 2 over root 3, which we should rationalize to 2 root 3 over 3. And the cotangent of 7 pi over 6 will be positive 3 over root 3, which, yeah, when we rationalize it, we'll get 3 root 3 over 3, or just positive square root of 3. Questions, comments, concerns?